Okay. So why Carlton? Everyone, my name is Sarah, and I'm an International Admissions and Recruitment Officer here at Carleton University. Thank you so much for joining. I'm very excited, and it's such a pleasure uh, to be here with you all to talk about our institution and all the uniqueness of it. So the first reason of why Carleton is the capital advantage, right? So uh, Ottawa is the capital of Canada, which is a G7 country. So that meaning Ottawa is a G7 capital city. Uh, G7 meaning economic uh, world leaders. It means business leaders. It means tech leaders, etc. This is a great place to be. We are very close to Montreal and we're very close to Toronto. So we are about a two hour drive from Montreal, four, four and a half hour drive from Toronto. Ottawa is very peaceful, it is youthful, it is a great city to be in, it's very safe. Um, and if you're looking for, you know, a louder weekend, a getaway weekend, you can just drive to Montreal or Toronto. There are also 45 minute uh, flights. Uh, and we are on the side of the US where we're pretty close to uh, New York, if you're also ever looking to travel to the US from here. Um, so this is our beautiful campus, again, located in Ottawa. It is quite a large campus, but it's also still really intimate. So it's enclosed, as you can see. Um, it is a very safe campus. And while it is this large, it still has this very intimate, very safe and very cozy feel, uh, which comes in really handy for our international students. <clears throat> you can see that it is... Um, it is surrounded by this beautiful river, the Rideau Canal, but also on the other side, we've got a residential area right around us. And this only goes to say how safe our campus is because we've got families living right next to us. So living and studying in Ottawa gives you an ideal environment. Ottawa is a resource hub and it is home to the federal government. This means that we have very, very strong connections with different uh, successful uh, companies that we place students in. We've got uh, government internships, government work placements and co-op. We've got very unique learning opportunities. Ottawa is actually known as the, um, as the uh, Silicon Valley North uh, just because of how uh, how much resources it has and how much tech and business uh, oriented it is. Uh, this is a great advantage to our students. Reason number two of why Carleton is our very, very, very diverse student community. Ottawa in general is diverse, Canada in general is diverse, and Carleton really embodies that. Every year, we welcome more than 30,000 enrolled students, and 15% of those are international students coming from all around the world, from more than 150 countries. Uh, this is just Carlton and numbers to kind of give you a visualization of what it means to be on our campus. Um, as an international student myself who graduated from Carleton University, uh, I came here, it, Canada was, you know, it was my first time coming to Canada, and I remember just how safe I felt to see people who spoke my language, to see people who accepted me speaking my language, to see people who looked like me, uh, especially as a visible minority. So um, it is a very, very accepting uh, and beautifully diverse uh, university. We also have more than 150 clubs on campus, clubs and societies that you can get involved in. So it's not just about where you're from, but also your, your hobbies, your interests, your activities. You will find so many different clubs that tailor towards that, that accommodate towards that. You can build your own community on our campus. Uh, reason number three is our very, very unique degrees. And we're going to talk about why they're unique. We'll start with addressing what programs we offer. So we offer 26 undergraduate degree programs. Five of those are actually expected to start in the fall 2025 uh, academic year. So you can see, I'm going to leave this up for just a second so that everybody can kind of go through it all and see everything. I'll highlight some of the really, really well-known 
um, programs that Carlton has. I'll start with Commerce Business. We have Sprott School of Business. It is a very, very well-known um, uh, school of business. Uh, communication and media studies. Uh, cybersecurity is one of our newer ones. Data science is one of our newer ones. Nursing is also new. Uh, under engineering, we've got um, mechatronics, which our students have been waiting for for a really long time. And we're so happy that we are expecting to um, offer that in the fall 2025 term. Um, we've got a great health science uh, program. Uh, really, all our programs are incredible. And again, because of the placement, where we are, et cetera, and our connections, our programs are taken to the next level in terms of what we can offer students. Because in each of those programs, we've got so many opportunities other than just learning in the academic classroom. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I get really excited when we talk about uh, just how well made our programs are and what they can offer to our students. So why is your degree from Carleton University unique? Because you can have your major, right? So under these programs, we've got the ones that we just saw over here. We've got more than 100 different majors, right? And um, in your degree, you can choose a major, you can choose to do a double major, you can choose to have a major and a minor, you can have concentrations and streams depending on the program that you're in. Many of our programs offer honors and research um, opportunities. Of course, we've got our co-op, which is almost similar to a work placement. Co-op is part of your degree and you've got to work. Uh, uh, throughout that component. So you get this real life experience. Um, and we have volunteering opportunities. All of that together combined gives you a beautiful degree. You're graduating with something that is so tailored towards you. It's tailored towards your interests. And it is also setting you up for the best employment opportunities out there because you're graduating with so much experience already. Now, like I said, you are graduating with experience. We really focus at Carleton on experiment, experiential learning and employability, right? So like I said, our programs offer co-op, they offer internships, they offer research placements, they offer fieldwork and practicums. Depending on the program, these look different. They, so what program is offering what? And some programs actually offer more than one of these options, right? We want our student to graduate, ready to enter the, the workforce, ready that you're coming here because you want to start a career, a career that you love, a career that you're interested in, right? So this is what we want to offer you. It is not just a degree that an academic degree that you're getting um, in at Carleton. You are taking everything that you're learning in your academic classroom and you're applying it in the real world. That is why our students get jobs. We have a 96% employability rate. That is extremely high. And we are top 10 for graduate employability in all of Canada. This is by the QS ranking, right? So like I said, this speaks for itself. This is based on surveys that have already been done for students who have already graduated. Reason number five is our automatic merit-based entrance scholarships. Uh, so this is a really, really cool scholarship that we have. This is an admission scholarship. So you would receive it in your offer when you're coming to Carleton. You don't need to apply for it. We're automatically already assessing you for it, right? Depending, of course, on your eligibility and your grades, the minimum requirement is an 80% admission average. And going up from there, the value of your entrance scholarship increases, right? So you don't need to apply for it, automatic, but also regainable. So we understand that if students sometimes might have a little bit of a decline in their academics, and then the next year when they become more adjusted, they might go back up. So we make sure to have this scholarship be regainable, which means that if you lose the scholarship at some point, but then your admission, sorry, your average goes back up, then this entrance scholarship will be reapplied. Um, this is only offered to students coming from high school, which means, you know, you just graduated and you haven't 
really taken any other, um, you haven't studied a different university or college, then you would qualify to be assessed for the entrance scholarship. It is in Canadian dollar here. So if you're interested, you can convert that to your, um, because we have so many people from so many different places, you can convert that to your own um, currency. Um, but the highest one would be 16,000 Canadian dollars, and that would be equally divided upon um, all four years of your study. So that would be $4,000 per year. Now, these are five really important, uh, unique points that Carlton has, but I really, really wanted to also let you know a bonus point, which is that we actually have a tunnel system. When I was an international student still applying to Carlton and coming here, every time I said to people, I'm so excited to go to Canada, some people had questions about the cold and that's totally valid, it's totally okay. At Carlton, you don't need to worry about that because we have a tunnel system that would protect you from that cold. So all our campus, all our buildings in that very large campus that we saw earlier is um, connected through tunnels. These are very well ventilated. Uh, they are very safe. We've got little campus, uh, campus safety um, buttons. So if you're feeling like I don't want to walk alone or, you know, you have maybe a really early class and you, you're not, you, you want someone to walk with you, um, you can just press that button and someone would be walking with you. We also have a service uh, called uh, Foot Patrol. So they too can. So there's a lot of, a lot of safety and a lot of um, uh, ventilation in that uh, tunnel system. It's uh, great to walk in. Our students, even our staff, use it all the time uh, during the winter. You don't need to be walking outside in the snow if that's not something that you wish to do. But also the snow is really nice to enjoy. You can chat with our students always, right, using this QR code. Uh, we have two of them here with us today. Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Hi. How are you Good today? Good morning, everyone. Sorry, what? How are you today? Oh, I'm really good. Thank you. It's a really cloudy morning, but I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I like this type of climate. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank I you know for having me. Eight in the morning. <laughs> um, but I, we're just really excited. I want to give you the space to introduce yourself to our students, to everybody that's here. Um, introduce yourself. You're an international student, correct? Yes. And okay. maybe tell us about your program, a fun fact about you. Let us know, um, you know, where you're from, really anything that you're comfortable sharing so that our students can hear directly from you. Um, uh, and I, yeah, I'll give you the space for now. Of course, okay. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. My name is Alexa. I come from Panama. I moved here a year ago to start my undergraduate studies in the Bachelor of International Business. I'm going to have a minor in Mandarin Chinese at the end of my four years. And also, I'm going in an international exchange. Uh, right now, I'm applying for it, but it's planned to be on the 2025-2026 year. Um, if you're wondering, uh, it's going to be to China or Taiwan because that's the language I'm learning. Um, going from that point, what made me chose Carleton was actually the international exchange mandatory year and also the fact that I will learn a new language. It's specifically for my program. I live in international business. Um, being trilingual or multilingual, it's a really good skill to have. So that's what made me go to Carlton. When I came here also, I also became involved in with Sprout, which is a really good school of business. Um, just yesterday, one of my classes, we were talking about how Sprout is really warming kind and it makes you feel like you are welcome in that space. And it doesn't only apply to Sprout, but also to Carlton University. Um, for example, everyone has like the doors open they, there's always resources and there's always a place where you can find help, whatever the situation is. I I really encourage you guys to consider Carlton. And even if your program, um, even if you don't find like a lot of 
place for your program. Trust me, Carleton is the place to be, especially as an international student. There's always someone to look after to. And in case you have any questions, there's the email and also uh, the international student ambassadors. We have a new platform where you can chat with us. Um, 20, it's uh, available 24 seven. We'll get back to you in less than 24 hours. So please um, consider it, Let's, um, chat with us and don't hesitate in reaching out for help. Thank you so much, Alexa. Um, I know I, I honestly, if I'm being very honest, one of the first, you know, things that grabbed my attention about Carlton when I was an international student, well, I was still a high school student at the time, was also the campus. I had seen a video of the river um, and I just thought it was so incredibly beautiful. And I had this strong yes. feeling in my heart that this was somewhere that I wanted to be. Um, obviously, Ottawa has such beautiful nature, but also our campus really, really embodies that. It's like a little mini city Ottawa inside of a bigger Ottawa. So I, I yes. totally understand like seeing the pictures of campus really makes a difference. And for all our students here, we actually, you can do a virtual tour of our campus. Um, so you can always send us an email at international at carlton.ca and ask uh, for the link to that so that you can see, you know, what our classrooms look like. You can see what our campus looks like. The river is stunning. And that river actually during the winter um, freezes, some part of it freezes and people can ice skate on it, which is just so incredible to have. Um, it's just so incredible to have something so unique right next to you at exactly. you know your fingertips. Um, so it's it's really, really cool, especially because it's Canada and it's cold. And so this is just one of those Canadian, really Canadian experiences for sure. Yeah. Sure, exactly. Um, there's also the experience of just walking by the window canal while you're, let's say, you have a free time during, yeah, in middle of your classes. That's really, um, you connect with nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Ottawa and Carlton have so much nature. Um, I remember feeling like I was walking in paintings. I hadn't seen such beautiful, beautiful nature until I came to Canada. And it genuinely looked to me like I was looking at a painting or a portrait somewhere, but you're really there and you're getting to experience it. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so you said your program also is one of the reasons that you chose Canada. Uh, sorry, you chose Carleton. Yes. That's incredible. We do have some really, we have an incredible international business um, uh, program and the exchange component out of it is is great because even as an international student you still get to experience another international experience uh so it makes you very very employable um and it adds to you as a person you know personal growth that's, exactly. that's really cool yeah, yeah thank you I'm so excited. much thank you alexa thank you. that that i'm so grateful for that thank you okay we'll also introduce um who do we have here All right. Um, Dilkusha is also joining Dilkusha, us. Dilkusha, yeah, yeah. Dilkusha is here as well. Dilkusha, do you wanna um, unmute yourself and turn your video on? Um, okay. Can you guys see you so me? Yes, we can see you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you so much for having me here. Of course. It is our pleasure. Do you want to introduce yourself to everybody here? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I don't know why, but I can't see everybody, but I guess you guys are here. Um, all four of you, hello. Um, um, my name is Dilkusha, so I go by Dil. You can call me Dilkusha as well. Um. I'm majoring in biology with a concentration in health science. Um, there's a twist, actually. I joined Carleton as a BSc Carleton major. Uh, but like while I was doing my BSc psychology, I grew interest in more of biology and health science. So I switched it. So if any of you are coming here with 
um, with the sense that you want to study these, but you also have interest in some other majors and subjects, don't worry, you can actually explore and you can actually change your program element. And it's pretty easy as long as you maintain a great score in your major subjects. Yeah. So, um, and also that I'm very, I would say kind of um, involved with campus life. That's second reason why I joined Carlton. Um, my first choice was like, which city I have to um, live in that has to, according to my style and the kind of lifestyle I want to live. Ottawa was my peak. It's very much so green, very much so quiet. And according to me, it's very much so fun. Um, so in Ottawa, Carlton, obviously student life is the best. Um, there's lots of clubs, over 200. And the people are amazing here. The vibes are always the best. Whether it's frosh or frost, it's amazing. And the top 2% of the year, obviously. So, um, and I think I would add one more fun fact about me is that this year while I was working uh, for frosh, I kind of sprained my ankle. So that was actually a great lesson to learn like how important that is to, to enjoy every single moment as a student or as a human being, because you don't know, you literally have no idea what's gonna happen next moment. So after that, I'm also like trying more and more to enjoy my campus life, my student life or my professional life, yeah. Thank you so much, Dill. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay now. Oh, I am great. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Um, thank you so much for sharing. And you brought a really good point up. Uh, it's very normal for students coming directly from high school to, you know, change their mind maybe at some point or find different interests. You know, you come to Carleton and you learn about other programs, you meet people who are in other programs and you might find a different interest. And this is your career, right? So Carleton, yes, yes. definitely does support. You can transfer from one program to the other and I know we get this question a lot actually can you transfer yes, yes you can of course you will have to meet certain eligibility requirements etc but it is it is possible you can be an internal student and change your program um so thank you for bringing that point up um so you did kind of touch on on why Carlton um, but if you were to put that into one statement, what would you think, you know, makes Carlton unique? What would make Carlton the reason, the thing that you're choosing? I would say great campus life, honestly, the best. Yeah, it, it makes a whole lot of difference. It makes a whole lot of difference. And I, but when I say just a great campus life, it's just, like, I need to explain more, go into details, the feelings, the moments, the everything, like, experiences I have been through, like, organizing events. Of course, like, when you're working, it, it gets exhausting, but with the great satisfaction. That's whole another level of, you know, satisfaction. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, would you, do you want to share with us, like, a campus highlight that? Um, you know, I would say really every significant. single day. Um, my campus highlights is every single year the frosh, honestly welcoming the new student, yeah. and um whether it's with a uh, student experience office or whether it's with Carleton University Undergrad Student Association, it's always so fun. And yeah. I remember like working until like eleven p.m. and so for concert, and the concert is always ends with such a bang, and. Honestly, every single volunteer at that time, they're so satisfied and everyone looks forward to it. Um, obviously, we work behind the scene and it takes a lot of um, time, commitment and passion to do that. But when we see that the freshers are having such a great moment and, you know, you always like see people coming through and they actually are exploring their university. They're even not sure where they are right now. Uh, but th they're just having a map on their hand and just going around the campus and asking you questions and 
you're actually not doing too much, like not even like working or anything, but they look at you as you're like, you're doing so much work and they're very amazed by that. So I would say Frosh is my, the best highlight ever. And like, it never, I can never get enough of it every single year. Like, I mean, I'm going in my third year, but I think even for next year, I'm going to have like, oh, this is something new. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. And I love that, you know, it's sounding like this is a memory that you're going to take with you for a long time. And that's just so beautiful to see that even our current students, because I, I was an international student and I had this experience a few years ago. Thankfully, I still work with Carlton. I always have. I never want to leave. That's how much I love Carlton. Um, but it's so nice to see that even students today, other students who, you know, are past way when I'm, when I, since I graduated, still feel the same way is just so heartwarming. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Dill. That was very, uh, very uh, informative and it was great to hear. I'll also uh, ask Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you doing, sir? I'm okay. Thank you. Tracy, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself uh, to everybody and tell us a little bit about your Carlton experience? Um, hi, everyone. My name is Tracy. I'm a fourth year student at Carlton University. Oh. And um, one of the reasons why I chose Carlton was because of like where it stood when it came to international business. Other schools did not like offer international business in their um, bachelor program, but Carlton did. So I was like, oh my goodness, I want to do that. And I've been an exchange student since high school. I got here in high school and that was like a smooth transition. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have to do it all over again. I want a school that has like a great community, a school like where I can talk to people and feel like welcomed and not feel like I had to be segregated from everyone. Um, so I had like a whole list of schools where I had to do research on. And I finally came down to Carlton. Um, joining Carlton, I kind of like was everything I expected, it was everything and more. Um, I've loved this so far and I've loved the experience. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your exchange experience? Yes. So with my program, International Business, um, I have the chance to go on exchange for a year. Um, and because I studied in French, I had to go to France or I had an option to go to France and I chose it. Um, it was amazing. It was from it was the whole academic year. So from September to April. Um, we got to meet new people, learn new cultures, um, practice the French we actually learn in class in the real life world, and kind of interact with people, see how everyone else reacts with different backgrounds, and kind of talk to people, learn new things, learn new foods, and the France food was amazing. I can that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and Carlson kept checking in on us every time, making sure we're fine, making sure we're good. And if we ever needed any help, they're always on standby to help. So that was an amazing experience as well. That's incredible. That is really incredible. And you know what? I, I will make one point. Um, our international students come to Carlton and they have such a beautiful international experience. And that's why they're willing to do it again and go internationally again. Um, the standard is high and, you know, if it weren't that case, if it weren't like that, our students wouldn't necessarily want to have another international experience. Uh, thank you so much, Tracy, for sharing that. Um, honestly, I have so much appreciation to all of our international students who are here today, sharing their experience with us, uh, letting us know they are current students. So they're speaking directly about today. I can speak about a few years ago and many of my colleagues can as well. Um, but our current students can speak about today when, you know, they're the same generation as everybody else is here in, in this um, event today. And they can be honest with you about their uh, experiences. So it's still, even for me, standing from, a, from my point of view, uh, it's still so beautiful to hear everything that everybody's sharing. And I hope that, you know, we can continue to live, deliver that at Carlton. Um, we can continue to, to deliver the amazing supports and the great programs uh, 
etc. So yeah, thank you so much, everybody that joined us today, all of our students. And thank you to everybody else who's joined us today as well and is asking questions. Um, so we have about 20 minutes left. Um, I'd love to go through our Q&A uh, box. So again, if anybody has questions, you can put your questions in there. Um, we'll go through them. I know that Nadie and Leia, my colleagues, have already been answering some things over here. I had seen some questions about the difference between applying through OUAC and Carlton 360. So our direct application is through Carlton 360. OUAC is an Ontario portal. So the really the main difference there is that if you are applying to more than one um, university in Ontario, you are encouraged to apply through OUAC because you can apply to three different ones with a flat fee of 166 Canadian dollars versus um, applying through Carleton 360, which you would only be applying to the one um, to just to Carleton, but you can choose two programs. So if you're only applying to Carleton in Ontario, which is the province that we're in, um, you can apply through um, Carleton 360 or direct application with a $100 uh, Canadian fee. So that's the main difference between uh, those two. There are a few other differences, like if you've done an Ontario curriculum, if you're Canadian, etc. But for the sake of this event, uh, this would be the main, main difference. Um, so I'll take a look at uh, the questions here. And uh, if you have questions for our students as well, please feel free to put them in. So those questions don't only have to be for me or my colleagues, Nadia and Leia. You can also ask the students if you're interested from their perspective. So I'll look for the more common ones. Uh, yes, there is an application fee. Uh, it is a hundred Canadian dollars, like I just said. And if if uh, uh, if um, um, if it's through OUAC, it would be a hundred and sixty six Canadian dollars. Uh, okay. So I tried to click on the answer live, but it didn't work. But that's totally fine. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's see. Any other common common questions? You can change your program during enrollment. So you can uh, switch from one program to the other. You still have to meet eligibility requirements, etc. cetera. Um, and we would use your Carlton most of the time. It really depends on the case, but most of the time we will be using your, you know, depending on how long you studied here, but we would use uh, at least uh, some of your Carlton studies already. <clears throat> Um, when you're applying, so when you're applying, you will be asked to upload your documents. Um, and uh, usually in the very beginning, those will be your transcripts, etc. Uh, your transcripts, your English language test, if you're residing in a country where the official language is not English. Um, once you do those, if we need more documents, then we will uh, reach out to you. So you do need to monitor your application. Uh, we would reach out to you and um, uh, and let you know uh, that we need some more stuff on your portal. And we will give you a place where you can upload that. Uh, so we'll open a little space for you. Oh, all this tech stuff. I don't know tech stuff. Um, all right. Um, what, uh, Sarah, can you please talk a little bit more about the residence? Yes, of course. Yes. So uh, we have a beautiful residence. So we do have on-campus residence, also known as dorms for some of you, depending on where you're coming from. Um, uh, we have um, an all uh, uh, a meal plan. So the meal plan includes, um, sorry, I'm just seeing here. Yes. So we have the, sorry, the, the fee for residence includes both the residence, your room, and it includes your meal plan. And it's about 12,900 Canadian dollars. Um, and it's very safe. Some of the people who actually work uh, in, in residence uh, also stay there overnight. We have many different kinds of rooms that you can get. So there's two main uh, types of rooms. 
Um, usually for your first year, um, it would be a shared one, but you can ask, uh, you can put your yourself on a wait list to, um, to have a, a single room of your own. It is first year guarantee. So all of our students who are applying will in their offer get a guaranteed offer to residents up to a certain time. That's why we encourage our students to apply as early as possible. Um, so that guarantee uh, does need to be accepted at some point. So in June, you would need to accept the residence offer if you wish to live on residence. But uh, this is also one of the things that is actually very unique about Carlton, very great about Carlton, is that those students who are applying in time are getting a guaranteed residence offer. Um, yeah, so that's mostly for our residents. Uh, for those of you who are interested in knowing what it would look like uh, in general, so all of our rooms, uh, you can put in a request. To, maybe you're coming with your friend. You can put in a request that you want to share the room with your friend. Um, our rooms, we do have um, all, you know, uh, one gender, um, same gender uh, levels, so floors. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's mainly it. You can choose which gender uh, you would like to be assigned with. If it's not someone that specifically um, is you know and whatnot. That's mostly for our residents. Does that answer the question? Uh, okay, so the deadline for the applications is April 1st. So applications are already open right now. And uh, so you can be applying as of today. And the deadline to apply is April 1st. Carlton works on a rolling admission basis. So that means that as we get applications and as applications are becoming complete, we are constantly processing and issuing acceptances. Um, and we don't prioritize uh, domestic students over international or international over domestic. It's really first come first serve, um, which is a great, great option because it, it, it keeps things uh, quite fair. Uh, okay, let's see what else we have here. Hi, um, Sarah, I think you saw one question about the sports. So I wanted to say something. About, okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, please go ahead. Um, so for sports, sports, there's Carlton Athletics. We have varsity teams of, to be honest, any sport I know, even ones that I have never heard of before. Um, also, there's intramurals, which is more of a fun way of just playing. Let's say you enjoy and one of your hobbies is playing a sport. You can just join a team and play for the whole term. Um, then at the end, you can win. There's, yeah, just to have fun. Um, there's also like tryouts, for, um, mostly at the beginning of the fall term for um, the varsity teams. And there's the Carlton game, which you get the... Um, you get the chance to attend it when you like it's clearly your teacher fees so you can go any day you want with your campus card um also for the residents i i lived on res last year so my first year right now i'm in my second year um it was a really great experience and i have to say like all of my friends my connections everyone that i met really became like my second family also, it was a good experience to just be inside campus my first year because it's the first time in a new city and you don't really know uh, a lot. Um, it helps you to at least get to your classes and events on campus uh, without getting lost with the public transportation because probably you don't have a lot of experience here. Um, but also, um, it just helps you like get used to that student life. So yeah, I will encourage it. Um, also the calf food, it's really good. And there's not only the calf, um, there's Oasis and the food court on campus. They have really great restaurants and just things that you can try to have um, for like lunch, dinner and breakfast before or after your classes. And also the calf has these lunch bots that you can take. Let's say you can't go back and forth from your class because the building is really far and the cafe is in the other side of the campus and you can just get a lunch box and you get your your food to the place you want to be at. Awesome. Thank you, Alexa. 
Um, do we, are there early applications? So in terms of early applications, uh, no, all applications open September 23, deadline April 1st. Um, so like we said, it is um, on a rolling, uh, rolling basis. Uh, if we get scholarships, what are some of the expenses that are covered? So there are more than one type of scholarships. Today, we addressed one of them, which is the entrance scholarship. There's also the prestige scholarship, which requires an application, uh, but it is a much larger sum. Uh, I believe the highest one is about 30000 It is uh, quite competitive. You need a 90 and above average uh, to apply. Um but the way that our scholarships work is that they would be um they would basically go to your student account towards your tuition um so that's usually how it is uh instead of you know directly going at you know what you need to spend it on or you know certain expenses that are being covered etc okay uh, Nadi and Leia, if we have any common questions that I need to address, please feel free to tell me. Yes, I think we can cover English requirements, especially for those uh, who've been using English. Okay, um, yes, yeah. yes, yes, of course, yes. So we accept many different kinds of English language tests. Um, when you're coming to Carleton, because it is uh, fully English, um, we would require, you know, proof of English language. And that would either be by um, demonstrating that you've lived in a country where the official language is English and studied in English for the past three years, or uh, it would be through an English language test. We accept Duolingo, Cambridge, um, uh, IELTS, TOEFL, etc. cetera. Um, and you know, we have two possible outcomes where one, you would be admitted with an English language requirement, which would mean that you would start your program and everything, but you would need to take some, uh, just an ESL class, depending on the level really and the score. And the other option is that if it exceeds a certain score, then um, you don't need to take any English language um, ESL class when you come to Carleton. Both ways, you would start your degree directly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's mainly it. And we do have, uh, we do have, I don't know if, if Leia or Nadi can share the link to, to that in the chat, just so you can take a look at each test. Each test has a different requirement uh, in terms of a score. Uh, so you can chat with our uh, students using the QR code that's currently on uh, the screen. Uh, Sarah, could you talk about the process of how long it takes when students apply to hear back from us? Yeah, so it usually takes uh, about three to four weeks from when your application is complete. Um, it is definitely different for each student, depending on the documents, et cetera. If you're a transfer student, it would take a little bit longer because we also need to assess course outlines for transfer credit. Um, but typically, you know, if the student is submitting a complete application, et cetera, it would take three to four weeks. Could be less. Uh, do you evaluate students on their final university entrance exam? Oh, sorry, that just went away. Uh, or their high school transcript. Uh, so I'm not sure if I fully understood the question. We don't have an entrance exam at Carleton. We do uh, evaluate uh, the students' academics based on their high school transcripts. Um, and if they're coming from a university, then we would um, uh, assess their university transcripts first. So if they're a transfer student. Uh, like I said previously, in terms of jobs, job prospects, so uh, Ottawa is a great city for employability. Our programs set up our students in a way that they are very um, employable. The skills that they're obtaining, the Canadian experience they're getting, the employment experience they're getting, they're getting to really work um, with uh companies in terms of a career before they even graduate. And our uh, employability rate, again, is 96%, which is quite high. Um, 
So in terms of job prospect, also depending on the program, like Ottawa is a great place to be studying things like business, like IT, right? So um, it's a, we, I would say a big thumbs up to, um, to uh, our students when they're graduating and trying to find a job. Uh, many of our students also get jobs before they even graduate fully. Um, they can, you know, go into, for example, a co-op placement somewhere. And uh, as they're graduating, those places say, you know what, we want to keep you. This has happened to our students before. After all the process, am I supposed to travel to Canada? Yes. So for most most undergrad degrees, um, when you uh, apply and get your offer, you uh, need to apply for a study permit. Now, I'm not an immigration advisor, so I, I can only speak so much about this. But you would need to uh, apply um, for a study permit, obtain that, and come to Canada. Um, we do have, however, the International Student Services Office, which is an office that is solely for you as international students um, to help you on, you know, when you arrive here to adjust, etc. They also take care of your medical insurance, which is a part of your tuition. Um, and they have immigration advisors and those immigration advisors can assist you on your study permit application, um, any questions that you might have related to immigration during your study and before. So as soon as you know you get accepted, you can contact them. They'll help you with that. And they'll also help you with immigration processes after once you're graduating with your post-grad work permit, etc. And this is of course free of charge. Uh, we do have a question for the students. So someone is asking how did they find adjusting to the winter and what did they do that made it easier? Can I answer the question? Yeah, of course. Okay, so as an international student, I would say, first of all, bring um, maybe not too much, but just educate amount of winter clothes because I would suggest if you buy from here, that's best because winter, um, especially if you're coming from a warmer country, I don't think um, the winter clothes will be ideal for here. So if you buy winter clothes for Canada, from Canada, that's way better uh, because essentially it gets like, for me, uh, the lowest I have seen is like minus 15 degree. So you need clothes to like handle that cold, not just like 10 degrees or something. Um, so buy clothes from here so it gets way better to like handle that i have seen international students coming here with tons of winter clothes uh because obviously it's the sense of that being prepared for the winter but it did like it doesn't actually help that much um so i got here here in september for me it was cold and quite chilly in september and living here in two years in September, I feel hot and warm, so it's not cold anymore for me. So human body is very interesting. You get adopted quite, like, I would say quite soon than expected. Um, and honestly, you won't actually face that much harsh environment unless it's just one or, like, twice snowstorm. Um it doesn't get very bad, but I do understand coming from a very warm country that at first it might be very hard, but just hang in there and uh, we have a bunch of events to prepare you for like winter with ISSO and I think with SEO as well. So um, reach out to them to know about winter in Canada more. And obviously it's not actually that hard to get adopted as I said human we can't actually do it yeah thank you so much Dill I'll also add to that that the international student services office actually um, so some of our international students are very kind and they donate um, some of their you know winter 
like their winter jackets, etc. Because in Canada, you wear a type of winter jacket that's a little bit bulkier and buffer than some others uh, that you wouldn't need necessarily outside. And so uh, some of those international students donate those to the ISSO. The ISSO um, cleans them, gets them, you know, all ready. And international students can go pick up one. Of course, this is uh, sometimes available, sometimes not, but this is available. This goes to show how much our community cares about one another. So we've got one international student who's graduating and leaving, uh, donating something for the next international student who's coming um, to, uh, to also benefit off of it. It's really, really lovely and beautiful. And I... I would also like to add something more. If you're living on campus, you would be using tunnels for like 24 seven. Like for my first year, um, I was living on campus. So I don't think in the entire semester, I actually went outside that much unless I needed the vitamin D from the sun. <laughs> so um, if you're living on campus winter, you don't have to worry about it almost like not at all. Yes. Yeah. Like mentioned earlier, the tunnels are so utilized by our students and also our staff and really anyone who's on campus. Um, they are a great option in the winter. And, you know, I feel like we're talking so much about the winter, but summer in Canada is really lovely. It is very lovely and there's a lot of sun and it's it's very beautiful in in the in the winter as, as sorry, in the summer as well. Okay. Um, I think we've answered most questions. Um, so unfortunately, we're, yes, we are. So we're the undergrad office uh, for all questions regarding a master's and a PhD program. You can contact graduate studies directly. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for our students, again, for attending and sharing their experience. It was a pleasure to sit with you and hear what you have to say directly to us. It's always greatest to hear directly from you than from anybody else, really. Um, so thank you for taking the time this morning. And thank you so much to Leah and Nadi for taking care of the chat all throughout um, and for uh, everything that they um, offered during this session. And to everyone who joined us today, thank you so much. Uh, it is such a great opportunity to get to talk to you. It's a great opportunity um, to uh, get to see where you're all coming from. Uh, we really look forward to seeing your applications come in. Um, and yeah, that's uh, really all from us. If you have any more questions, we're very happy to talk to you. Please send us an email at international at carlton.ca.